It's still kind of crazy to think that we're less than two weeks away from the launch of the Xbox Series X and the start of next gen. It's been a much bumpier ride this time around, getting towards uh, getting towards the finish line with everything that's happening in the world. But we're almost there. And thanks to our friends at Microsoft, we've been able to get our hands on an Xbox Series X console a little early. And so without further ado, here is our unboxing video. So as you can see, front of the box, we've got a nice close-up shot of the console. Uh, if you suffer from trypophobia, you may not be particularly happy with the amount of holes that are there, but hey, I love it. Right now, that's all that really matters, let's be honest. <laughs> Moving on to the side of the box, we've got an overview of some of the features of the console. These are all the things that Microsoft have been touting from pretty much day one. Most powerful console that has ever been created. Uh, we've got 4K 120fps gaming, which we have seen a few games start taking advantage of that 120fps in preview footage so far from other outlets. Uh, 8K HDR, we haven't seen that as of yet, but I'm sure we will in the future. Uh, the Xbox Velocity architecture, which is paired with their solid state drive significantly improve loading times and also uh, bring forward quick resume which is a feature that I am personally extremely excited by. Variable refresh rate to help smooth out the edges for games that don't quite hit the exact uh, hit a solid frame rate all the way through although obviously there are not many TVs as yet that take advantage of that as well as a standard 4k blu-ray player. Within the box, we've got the Xbox Series X console itself, HDMI cable, wireless controller, uh, which is the latest and greatest in their controller design. Uh, and of course, whilst it's not mentioned here, we're gonna have a power cable uh, because that is how it goes. Unless you are certain uh, manufacturers of other devices who prefer not to include a charger with their devices now. Moving on to the back, We've got a nice big image of Halo Infinite, the launch game that has, of course, uh, quite spectacularly been delayed to next year. As much as it might be a blow to the launch of the console not to have that big name release right up front, it's definitely a better idea to make sure that it is in the right state, that everything is good to go. You don't want to launch a game like that and have there be holes or have there be issues and have it fall flat and kill any momentum that you've made. On to the other side, we've just got a nice, another nice front on image of the console and controller themselves. And then back to the front and moving on to the next step of this video actually opening the console up and starting to take it apart and have a look at it. Here we go. It's time to open this bad boy up. So, first of all, got some stickers down here that need to be removed. Otherwise we are in fact, not going to get into the box. Two on the bottom. One on this side. And then one on this side. Now, if you have a PlayStation VR, this style of box might be relatively similar to you, uh, familiar to you. Lovely hinge front. And flicking it open there, we have been greeted by the marketing catchphrase of the Xbox One X, which is to power, or Series X, which is to power your dreams. With that said, I am gonna start with the boring stuff first, as opposed to going straight to the console. So we're gonna open up this lovely little compartment here. Have some instructions. HDMI cable, which is of course very necessary. Power cable, again, kind of need that to be able to use it. 
and then some batteries and the brand new Xbox Series X controller. So, joysticks feel pretty good. Brand new D-pad with the eight-way movement, which is wonderfully clicky. No real difference in the buttons. Shiny buttons, shiny Xbox button. We've got some textured back handles taken from the uh, Elite controller and the brand new share button. Taking a look at the Xbox One controller, you can see the Xbox Series X controller is actually slightly smaller. Uh, it is definitely not quite as big. It's a bit more sloped at the sides here. Uh, so for someone like me with relatively small hands, this is pretty good. From there, we'll move on to the thing that I know people really want, which is the console itself. So, oh, that is actually quite heavy. <laughs> it is actually really quite heavy. Uh, we do have a little getting started manual. It does give you some tips on how to set up your console. But I know what everyone's really excited for is this right here. Let's open it up. That is the bottom. And there we go. The Xbox Series X. Got a USB port, disk drive, Xbox button, which I'm gonna be quite frank, I'm a little bit disappointed that it's not switchable uh, in the orientation that it takes because personally speaking, I'm probably gonna have this console horizontal more often than not with my entertainment unit and a two and a half year old that is likely to go, <laughs> go at anything that is left on top of an entertainment unit. So that's not really an option for me. Uh, we've also got the IR sensor, which is actually built into this little button here. So you can still use any of your IR devices that you've previously used with your Xbox One. Having a look at the top, we do have that little bit of green painting on the inside of the vents at the top. Uh, just to give it that sort of signature Xbox green look uh, that this device is otherwise completely missing. We flip it over to the bottom. We have the stand, which is unremovable, but also means that there will always be airflow into these vents at the bottom. Uh, otherwise, you potentially would have an issue with your console overheating, which is the same as any device. You cut off the vents, there's no air coming in, that's going to cause problems. The other side, we have the little feet. Uh, so if you do prefer to have your console in a horizontal orientation, like myself, uh, you've got that option here with no problems. And then flipping it over to have a look at the back, we've got all of the different ports that the console comes with. HDMI, power, ethernet, couple more USB ports, and the big one, the expansion slot. So you do obviously have the option to buy expansion storage for your console. Uh, you do need to use this specific expansion slot uh, and the expansion drives that are being co-produced with Seagate at the moment to be able to take advantage of any, to take advantage of the SSD or to play Xbox Series X games in general off it. Uh, otherwise, if you're just playing backwards compatible games, you can just use an external drive uh, straight into a USB port, uh, which is currently my plan. There we have it. Xbox Series X controller and cables. So, we've still got a couple of weeks or almost a couple of weeks until launch now. 
stay tuned in the near future. We might have something else that we can show you uh, in the future, but we'll wait and see how that goes. We'll definitely have more coverage as we come up to launch and go past launch. Uh, that's it. Thanks for your time. Hope you've enjoyed our look at the Xbox Series X and have a great time. <laughs>